After our visit to Barcelona, our itinerary took us to Madrid. Immediately when we got off the train, we noticed a different architecture from that of Barcelona, which presents a modern architecture influenced by Gaudi. The architecture of Madrid is more classic, reflecting his monarchical values in addition to being the capital of Spain. While we were in Madrid, we witnessed a historic moment. Princess Leonor, the future Queen of Spain, celebrated her 18th birthday, and she was taking a note to the Constitution, enough to say that Madrid was celebrating. Given the occasion, we were not able to visit the Royal Palace, a small disappointment. Madrid has a lot of tourist attractions to offer. Whether it is its museums, such as the Prado or the Reina Sofia National Art Center Museum, where we had the opportunity to admire pieces by Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali, or the large green spaces of Madrid, such as the Sabatini Gardens at the Royal Palace, or the huge Parque del Retiro, where we can see a large artificial pool. From Madrid, we went to Toledo by train for a day trip to visit this city which is part of the UNESCO World Heritage. Its narrow streets make pedestrian and vehicular traffic quite challenging as witnessed by the car mirror scratches on the walls of the houses at street corners. The architecture of this city is very impressive, 